Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Christmas house tour. You guys said you wanted a Christmas house tour, so I will deliver for you. Um, I can't say that I will remember where everything is from, but I will try my best to remember where I got most of my Christmas decor, so that way, if you guys wanna go out and buy it as well, then you can. So, we will get started. We will start with the front door, and then we will walk throughout the whole house. Okay, walking in from the front door, this is what you see. So this right here used to be our dining room, as you guys probably remember, but I just kind of made it more of like a walkway. There's a place to take your shoes off. So over to the left is the pantry door, and I have our little Christmas countdown. I actually made this Christmas countdown so you won't be able to buy it. I made it with a group of friends, so that is that. And then moving over here, I have a little rocking chair that I sit at and we've got our little Christmas countdown. Honestly, I think this was from, yes, Christmas tree shops. Um, I think I got that last year at the Christmas tree shop. And then the in this kitchen we lick the spoon, that is my letter board, and that is from AC Moore, which they're out of business now, but I'm sure you can find one at like Michael's. And then this little tree here is from the Target Dollar Spot last year, but I do know they have similar ones this year. And then this barn is actually a Scentsy Warmer. The waxes go in here. I won this from hosting a online party, so that is that. And then these are actually left over from our wedding. They're just part of a birch log. So that is what I have on this stand. And then of course I have a little mirror up top and I think that is from Hobby Lobby, I'm pretty sure. So that is that little area and then you would walk into the kitchen. So from this area this is what the kitchen looks like so this little chalkboard I grabbed from Michaels quite a few years back and I just looked online and found a little cute truck picture and I recreated that and then over here on the counter we have this two-tiered tray uh, I actually got that as a Christmas gift from a friend so I don't know where they got that from <laughs> This is, I think, an ornament from the Dollar General, and I just took off the little uh, ornament holder. And then they, this candle here is from the Dollar General, and then the Christmas calories don't count sign that is from Michaels this year. And then this, these picks are from Michaels. You can grab these like any year. I've had them for a few years now, but they're actually Christmas tree picks and I just put one there. And the little blue truck is from the Target dollar spot. I actually got that in the fall. And I've got a little Christmas tree that I got from the Dollar Tree that I put on the back of it. So I actually keep this up all year round. It is my uh, spoon holder or whatever you want to call it and actually has um, a saying on the back but I just turned it around to keep it a little more simple and I put all of my wooden utensils in there and this is from at home and then a bunch of my wooden fake wooden utensils are from at home the real wooden ones I've had for years so on the stove I always have a candle going this is the fresh balsam scent from Bath and Body Works Bath and Body Works do have my favorite candles so that is what I'm burning right now and then to the left of it I have my Better Home and Garden cookbook that is actually from my mother-in-law and she was given that on her wedding so I always keep that there and use it throughout the year and then I've got some Christmas festive towels hanging here they are from I think they're from Target next I have some more picks these are just the picks just like the one on the tiered tray and then I have another one of those Dollar Tree Christmas trees and Weston had to stick his deer here and Buddy the Elf made an appearance on the video. He actually was there this morning making a cup of coffee. So this is what I have on this shelf. That shelf is actually from Hobby Lobby and it was in the clearance section because it was broken. But I just flipped it around and used it that way instead of the other way. I thought that looked cuter. And then of course I've got my coffee pots and everything. And I moved, I did have a Christmas sign here, but I did move it, um, and I put my all I need today is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus sign back up, and I'll show you where I put the Christmas festive sign in a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Next on the counter here by the dishwasher is my flour and sugar containers. These were a wedding gift from my mother. And this scale I got a few years back, I think it was a, two or three years ago from Michael's. And then I think these balls are from Walmart and I just use them as a filler with that little Santa Claus. And that Santa Claus I actually got from Goodwill. Next is this vintage Christmas tree. You can find these really at a lot of different stores. I actually picked this one up at Peebles, which I don't even know if that's a store anymore, but um, Kohl's have had them. I've seen them at Target, so just keep an eye out, but they are vintage looking. It's not an actual vintage one. I wish it was. And then I've got my fruit bowl. I actually put this Ray Dunn bowl in my uh, KitchenAid mixer just because I like the way it looked. It obviously doesn't actually work in that, but I just like the way it looks, so I keep it there. And then when I actually go to use the mixer, I put the actual mixing bowl in. And then to the left of that, I have my cute little snowman. It's a cookie jar, but I keep my candy in there as a little sweet treat when I need one, and the kids really don't, they've never asked to look in it, so. That's my little secret stash. Okay, up here above the sink, I have this cute little shelf. And I did most of my decorating for the kitchen on this shelf. So the two trees are from the Target dollar spot. This year I picked them up. And then the cotton thing in the vase, that is from Michael's. The two trees on the left of the vase, those are from Walmart. And then the sign on the right of the vase, that is from Michael's this year as well. So. All of that stuff you should be able to pick up this year if you are interested. And then on my little cake stand, I do have my dishwasher pods, which I need to refill, and then this cute little soap dispenser holder. I love this, it's from Bath and Body Work, and I have spiced gingerbread swirl soap in there for right now. So that is what I have on my little cake stand by the sink. Okay, so walking into the living room, this is what you see. So over to the right, we have our stockings hanging on my bookshelf here. And that bookshelf is from Ikea. The stockings, hmm. I think the red ones are from Christmas tree shops and then these plaid ones I wanna say are from Walmart. I'm not positive. I've had them for quite a few years now. So that is the where we hung our stockings this year. This stocking holder is from at home and then these ones are from Target and Walmart. So. That is that, and then the two little nutcrackers are from the Christmas tree shops. That little Merry Christmas sign is from the Christmas tree shop. And then this log, it's like a Santa log, that is from a garage sale. And then if you look at my bookshelf, I do have my nativity scene in there. It's kind of hard to see with the glare, sorry guys. But that is um, where I put my nativity scene this year. Here, I'll open it up so you can see. And the nativity scene, the large building is from Walmart, and then all the people in the little building are from the Christmas tree shops, and the little trees are from the dollar store, so. As for my Christmas tree, my tree topper is from the at-home store. I did get that last year. All my ornaments are kind of just memory ornaments, places we've traveled, or different ones that I've collected throughout the years. And the tree is from Kmart before they went out of business, as well as the ribbon. And the bucket here, I've had a lot of people ask me about the bucket that I kept my tree in. That is actually from Tractor Supply. So. I actually had it from our wedding. We used ice waters in there. We put a bunch of bottled waters with ice and we had it laying around, so I just thought that would look cute instead of a tree skirt this year. Over on my TV stand, I didn't really do anything too festive. I do have our picture from Santa and then that tea vase is from, it's from Michael's. I got that in the clearance section for like 75% off. The essential oil diffuser is from Walmart and then I do have like a little wreath thing around my, the bottom of my plant. And then this photo album thing here is from Ryan. He got me that a few years back for Christmas. And then I have a little picture frame that I did not put a picture in. That is from the Target dollar spot this year. And then I have a little vase thing from Tractor Supply that I put a few 
little fake greenery plants in. So this is our TV stand. I don't really go all out for the TV stand. I kind of like it to just be a little more simple. So the Santa sack is from the Christmas tree shop a few years back. I've had that for a while now. And then up on our mantle, I do have a really pretty piece of garland. It's actually not pre-lit. I went ahead and put some lights on it and then my husband put a um, extension cord over there to be able to plug it in. But I love the way it turned out that it is well with my soul sign is from Tractor Supply a few years ago and the lanterns are from Michaels. And then of course we have our deer up there with the Santa hat on. Next, on the couches, I do get a lot of questions about where we got uh, the beige throw pillows from. I do have that linked in the description box below. They are pillow covers from Amazon. And then this here I actually made. I use it for our remotes and our coasters. It says home for the holidays and I made this with a group of girlfriends. Up here we of course have the mistletoe. It is not a Christmas house without a mistletoe. And then we'll work our way into the bedroom. So you go through the kitchen. To the left is the bathroom. I'll show you that real quick. I do have my waxing stuff out because my sister's coming over to get her eyebrows waxed. But in here, I do have just a little wreath right there on that window that is from Michael's, I'm pretty sure. And then I have this cute little towel and it has a little Christmas car on it with a tree. That is from Target. And then I have another one of these little dollar spot trees. Like I said, they always have them there, so you shouldn't have trouble finding them. And then turning this way, we have the two shelves that my husband and I made. And I did decorate these quite a bit. I put some garland on them and just some little knickknacks that I have picked up from Goodwill. So all the knickknacks you see, like the Santa and the snowman and stuff, they are from Goodwill. That scrub-a-dub dub sign is from Hobby Lobby, I ordered that online. This bathroom is for singing, that is from Hobby Lobby as well. And that plant is from Walmart. So coming out of the bathroom and then into the bedroom, I do have a pre-lit, it's actually an outdoor tree, but I put it in here. And we've got our computer desk with my computer and all that fun stuff, and then Ryan's office stuff over there. And then this is what our bed looks like. The bedding is from Kohl's. The two pillows, um, I have two deer pillows, are kind of hard to see. I wanna say they're from Walmart or Kohl's last year. And then my nice pillow, it has naughty or nice on it. That is from Lowe's this year. Okay, so I never finished a tour, so I'm gonna finish it real quick. I am in, if you were to walk in from the front door, you in turn left, this is where you would go. Here is the kid's bedroom. But um, this is kind of just like a little hallway with a half wall. It's hard to show because it's a really small space. Then there's this. I actually made this like I made uh, the other board thing um, that I showed you in the beginning of this video. And I made that with the same girl. She's so crafty and uh, she does some great stuff. So walking into here, now this was Grant's nursery and I don't show this room super often. But this is now our dining room. Like I said, it was his nursery for a while, and we, and then it was our school room, and we needed a dining room more than anything. So, it is our school slash dining room, hence why there's a uh, whiteboard up there. So when you walk into the dining room, this is what you see to your left. We have our bar with some stools. This is nice for when we have like the ki uh, bunch of adults over, and then the kids need a place to sit. They'll sit here. And then we have Grant's high chair and a little thing up there that says, look what I made. And I put the kids' artwork and drawings up there. And then we also have this painting. It's actually a painting done by one of Ryan's family members. And she would do such incredible work. Like, this is just, how beautiful is that? Can you imagine? Like, I am not that talented. <laughs> so, um, then looking this way, you'll see everything in the dining room. now. My coffee bar got moved to in here, so we'll move over to this first. And instead of using it for just coffee, I use it for hot cocoa during the winter months. So over here I have all my like festive, fun mugs that I use for cocoa. And then I have my extra Nespresso machine. This is usually in the camper, but I keep it in here just for now. We don't have anywhere to put it, and I don't want to keep it out in the camper during the winter and it freeze and stuff like that. So it sits there, I don't really use it, but 
it's fine. Okay, and then down here we have a big old thing of cocoa. I buy cocoa in bulk and get it from Sam's Club, and then I have like a cream and sugar Christmassy container. They're kind of just for looks, I don't really ever use them. And then I have this cute jar. Let me take it out and show you, it's super cute. I got this at Goodwill years ago, and it has a snowflake on it. It's kind of hard to see. I think you can see it that way a little better. But how cute is that? I love it so much, and I think I got it super, super cheap, like maybe a dollar ninety-nine, if that. And then I also have these coasters that I painted and just kind of distressed a little bit, and I use those um, when we sit at the table. And then in here is just filled with cups, salt and pepper, things like that that we might need when we're at the table. And then if you look up, I kind of decked this whole area out because it is higher up so it doesn't feel super cluttered because it's not like in an actual living space. It's, just, it's fine up there. So right here, I think I got these from the Dollar Tree years ago. I just thought they were fun for the kids. And then these bowls I got from Goodwill, there's three of them. Uh, this garland is from, uh, I think, Christmas tree shops. This truck is from Michael's a few years back, and the picks are from Michael's as well. And then here's another one of those bowls, like I said. The other things just stay up there all year round. They're not Christmassy. That's really it for this area, other than I did move this picture here to go with my water. I use this for cocoa, so it works perfectly right there. And then that peppermint bark sign is from Michael's this year. So, no. I think it's from Christmas Tree Shops, actually. Sorry. So anyway, this is the hot cocoa bar that we use, and <laughs> it definitely gets used. 